Hi, and welcome to CastNet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. More than six months after Christy Clark gave up her seat in the Kelowna West riding, Ben Stewart reclaimed the seat for the BC Liberals during Wednesday's by-election. Stewart garnered 56% of the vote, more than double the runner-up, the NDP's Shelley Cook, but only 29% of eligible voters turned up to cast a vote. This isn't the first time Stewart has held a position. He was the MLA for the riding from 2009 to 2014, before stepping down to allow party leader Clark run in the Liberal stronghold when she lost in her home riding of Vancouver Point Grey in 2013. A search is on for a Vernon woman who has gone missing in Mexico while scuba diving Thursday morning. Gloria Miller was diving off the coast of Puerto Vallarta. She had recently been certified as a diver. Miller is the wife of a prominent Vernon business owner, David Chambers. As of Friday, search crews, along with the help of a small plane, were scouring the area looking for her. With the snowpack in the hills around the Okanagan sitting at 131% of normal, the province is releasing much more water into Skaha Lake from Okanagan Lake as a precaution against potential flooding. Sean Reimer, with the Ministry of Environment, says 25 to 30 cubic meters of water per second are flowing through the Penticton Dam, compared to a typical release of 5 to 10 cubic meters this time of year. It doesn't mean that we're going to get flooding, but it, again, the probability is higher. So we have to take that into account when we start to schedule our releases. Moose have been moseying around the central Okanagan this week with some close calls. On Monday, a moose who had been hanging out in the backyard of a West Kelowna home for several days charged a family dog. Suddenly the moose out of the dark came charging across the grass here and um, attacked my dog. On Tuesday night, on the other side of the lake, a moose went running by a vehicle that was driving on Gordon Drive near McClure Road. A Rutland home went up in flames Thursday morning. Flames tore through the Argyle Road home at 8.30 a.m. The elderly woman inside was able to make it out of her house, and she's not believed to have suffered any serious injuries. The fire also spread to a neighboring home. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson. Looking for things to do? Find our event section under our blue Our Town button in the yellow masthead. Also, post an event for free anytime. <laughs>